Hello and welcome to the Sacred Gates Ascension podcast. My name is Ilura. So this is part two of a video that I did on messiness and versus keeping and training your lines to be clean and your your art to be as accurate and as non-messy as possible. Now it's easy to say to do this but it's about really the actual mechanics on how to do this. Now, everyone will probably have their own way and the way that I found the most easiest for me to get my practice more and more clean to really clarify those lines in your body lines of focus lines of openness lines of release to be as continual as 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 much as you can clean and non-messy is to work on you focus on stillness in your practice now stillness is something that we've heard about like going to that still point and we're not at the level of like an arahant like an enlightened being that that level of nirvana that level of stillness but we can still experience stillness and moving into and deeper levels on that spectrum of stillness and of course receive the benefit and the best way that i've found to to um to feel to feel like your energy is getting very very accurate and very accentuated and in alignment with the essence of your art it is to experience stillness while you're training now there's lots of different points on the body i recently did a video on soothing and balancing out that solar plexus chakra which is the energetic bridge between your magnetic energy and your electric energy and that's a particular area that's great for experiencing stillness you can also um, guide yourself to experience stillness in the, the energy ball when you're doing the energy ball another video i did here is on opening up the pores of the skin and awakening the skin the organ of the skin and of course all your senses through your skin and you can also do that through experiencing a point of stillness because when we when we experience and, and strive to experience stillness in our training what that does is it helps to take the static all that on the emotional body on the mental body on the physical body and it helps to bring more clarity and through clarity more accuracy and all of that gives us more feedback and so the stillness is the perfect the perfect quality yeah to help us get to the essence and to our most to our best potential of our training in that moment and the more you focus on stillness and relaxing into that the more familiar you become and so when you go to do a healing on someone else or an animal or on, a, on the planet or on yourself you're you're a lot more more familiar with that feeling of stillness yeah and when you experience stillness in the various parts and the ways that you're organized so for example to say you have your physical body your mental body your emotional body you have your vital energy which is stored in your physical body all of these bodies these aspects of who you are all are vibrate and resonate differently and because of that when you experience stillness in those different bodies those various parts of you it actually feels different so that that point of stillness it feels a quality of, it, there's a difference in the quality of the, when you're experiencing stillness in your different bodies so for example your physical body your mental your, your physical vital body sorry it, it feels very very different to your mental body your physical vital energy is much more dense than just say your mental body so for example that's exactly why there's technology now that can actually read your thoughts because your thoughts are out there you know um, and they're able to be read whereas your physical body is quite dense and so it's got a different vibrational structure configuration density and so when you experience stillness be aware that that still feeling is going to feel different with your physical body to that of your mental body to that of your higher self bodies to that of your emotional body yeah and the static that you're going to feel is also going to be different so the point of stillness will feel different likewise within that complementary opposing forces the static will also feel different 
And so I, I invite you to play around with experiencing. Go to the video where we balance the, the soothe and balance that point here, the solar plexus chakra, to help balance out the magnetic and electric frequencies. And it's a good it's a good focal point. Eventually, when you get to the point, you can do it just anywhere in your body. But to begin with, it's helpful to have a location, location based. Obviously, we can transcend location, uh, but you know you can feel your solar plexus, for example, through your whole entire body. But for now, it's a good place to start is to focus on the still point here. So go to that video um, on soothing and balancing for a good experience of, 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 of feeling that. Now, when you first start to experience stillness, sometimes it can feel really, when you're just beginning, it can actually start to feel the more you focus on stillness in a particular area, you want to be focusing on traveling through time and space because what can happen sometimes when our conscious mind for the first few times experiences stillness, it can get really contracted and tight and kind of condensed. So keep practicing and don't force. Try to have a very bare soft awareness as I guide you to have in that video I've mentioned and that's going to really help you to move through time and space and, and help you to experience the ever-changing vortex and moving landscape of stillness. something that you keep moving through and remember when you're observing change and difference when you're moving towards those soft subtle light feathering off the fading away feelings you are in the stream of reality moving through and just remember it's like you're driving a car and all that scenery houses trees building roads people that you're moving past you're not really paying attention to it it's just like phenomena passing by its scenery so that's what allows keeping that in mind allows you to keep moving through this area here that the solar plexus okay guys i'm really looking forward to hearing back from you in regards to stillness and how you go with that and um, give it a try it, it is really a great practice for helping like i said in the part one video of cleaning up your lines clarifying your lines and helping you to become more accurate in your own practice and also working with other people too thanks for listening bye bye